What's going on everybody? Look who's bald, man. I'm bald as fuck. Look at this dome. Oh my god, yo, it's it's I feel so naked. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Schmodown Run Back with your boy Sobro Ryu. It's been uh it's been a bit uh I'm sorry about it, uh the the I'd say uh not having a reaction the day after. Um, the episode that aired on Tuesday, I actually had a few things come up, so I went ahead and decided to do both reactions on the same day for, uh, the reactions I'm doing today. I'm, the first of which is, uh, not so much, I, I, I call these reactions, but it more so is commentary on the episodes as, as much as I am watching it for the first time. I like to think of it more as commentary than reactions for the most part, and the first of the two episodes I'm recording today uh, will be the team match between Rotten Tomatoes versus IGN. And uh, in this episode, uh, I am rooting actually for, um, it's kind of tough, man. I, I, I could either root for Rotten Tomatoes or IGN, and my matchup rating uh, for this is that I think IGN's going to take it, 6-4, but um, I honestly believe... I'm actually rooting for IGN, to be honest with you. Uh, people underestimated them so hard, and uh, a lot of people are in love with uh, Rotten Tomatoes. And as much as I really enjoy Grey Drake, uh, Matt actually is cool. Uh, I'm actually quite astounded at his weight loss, and shout outs to Matt, man. Whatever he's doing, keep that up, bro. That's amazing. Um, but out of the two teams, uh, I would probably would say um, Rotten Tomatoes probably has the best when it comes to uh, mic performance and talking shit. That's pretty cool. But IGN showed a little gumption when they won their uh, previous match. And I'm excited to see where they're going to go. I've been listening to their podcast for years. Um, they have a, a podcast based on movies. And uh, that's how I became familiar with uh, uh, Matt. Uh, sorry, I was about to say Matt actually. I was, uh, when I became familiar with um, Jim Vevita, I always want to call him Jim Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta, yeah, Jim Vavita and uh, Eric Goldman uh, from their podcast throughout the years, and uh, they know a lot about movies. I know why a lot of people. I don't know why a lot of people were speculating that they were going to lose their first match. There was no way in fuck they were going to lose that first match, guys. <laughs> I, I already knew going into that shit they were going to sweep that mess just like when Bibiani won his first match I knew going into that he was going to because I was familiar with him from what the flick and of course um, his performance on movie games so um, it was interesting to see them finally get stepped into the showdown oh shit step into the showdown and uh, and and handle handle their opponents um, I won't say that Ron Tomatoes is, 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 are any kind of uh, uh, what what do you would call it a uh, tomato cans uh, they're not they're not easy to beat at all. Uh, Matt actually is very knowledgeable about film, and Gray Drake surprises me all the time. Um, she knows a lot about film. I, I don't know if uh, she's the best when uh, when the lights are on, but sometimes in some categories she knocks it out the park. So we'll have to see exactly how that plays out. Um, before you make another move though, and before I do this commentary, make sure to go down below, you're going to find a link to the original video, and watch that first. A lot of you guys already come here, you've already seen the original video, so if you have, good. If that's the case, you've already done what you're supposed to do. Make sure you left a comment and thumbs up the video as well, and if you're not subscribed to youtube.com slash collider videos, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Go over there. They got a lot of great content for free. They're putting it out every day, man. Make sure to go there. Support the channel, man. They're cooking. They're cooking, boy. Also, make sure to check out YouTube.com slash Schmoes No. They're killing it, too, man. Don't sleep on that. Please. Go there. Handle your business. Make sure you support these guys and everything they do. The cool people, man. And they react. Uh, they also uh, are very um, involved with their communities. So, man, um, it's very rare when you come across a YouTube channel that's like that, and that is. So, uh, that's why I do this. Because, you know, they give great feedback, and they're encouraging for people doing things like this. I don't know how long we'll be able to do these uh, these Schmodown co commentaries, because if it does go to network, uh, chances are they're going to have to stop us from uh, <laughs> putting the video, embedding it in our videos. But if, if that does happen, and they uh, have a cease and desist when it comes to that, I'll just do audio commentary without the audio you just have to sync it up with whatever you're watching it on so 
um, I've thought of that too. Um, if 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 it comes down to that, I, I don't think I'll stop doing these to be honest with you. But um, if they ever ask us to stop putting the video, embedding the video of the actual original video in our videos, I've I've got a workaround. So hopefully, hopefully that doesn't inconvenience too many people. But um, if they ask me to do that, I'm cool with that. So no worries. Uh, we've got we've got alternative plans. <laughs> But seriously, go watch the original video first and make sure to support it. And then you can come back and watch mine or you can watch it in lockstep with the original video too. And thank you for doing that. It definitely helps things out. Uh, after this uh, video is done, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the controversies over um, the match between uh, Bibiani and Christian Harloff. Uh, nothing too in-depth, uh, just my opinions on that. Uh, we joked about it during the... Uh, we joked about it when the show was here the other day and we watched the previous uh, that, that match. We, we joked about things like collusion and stuff like that, but I just want to set something straight because honestly, I don't believe there was any chicanery going on or any of that bullshit. But I also have a bit of a solution on how they could fix that from here on out just to kind of evade a lot of suspicion and bullshit like that. So uh, if they're willing to uh, give me a listen, let me adjust this camera just to taste. Oh, 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 no, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. All right, now that's a bit more center, I guess. All right, anyway, um, yeah, I've got a bit of a, a solution to that, and uh, we'll get into that uh, at the end of the episode. Anyway, you, we'll, let's get to what you came to see, the commentary. Let's go. All right, cool. And uh, we're going to start it, as always, on one when I count down from three to one. Oh, my God, I'm so congested. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, the blow ups. Collider. All right. Oh, we got a package? All right. Yo, Gray. <laughs> One of my favorite female players in the league, though, I gotta say. Yo, she always be. Always be popping off. <laughs> Yo, these guys. Yo, yo, the, the entrance, it's, it's, it's stock level, but they're working on it, man. Hopefully, they come out stronger. Here we go. Oh, they came dressed up. They came dressed to play, though. Yo, Rotten Tomatoes, man. They don't sleep on their entrances, man. They just don't. Let's see how they cut a promo today. That's all I want to know. Okay, my audio is taping this shit. Everything is going swell. God, look at this. Yo, look at, look at, the, look at them flossing. <laughs> look like they're ready for Pulp Fiction. It's a team match, Mark. Oh my God, that is Christian Harloff. I am Mark Ellis, and I don't know they what are more shirts with food on them or this matchup. At which I point, do have food on my shirt. Yo, exposed. Journalistic integrity is at stake here. <laughs> Your journalistic integrity oh, has never been in question. Looks like we you need some game, bro. <laughs> when you look at this matchup, in the 1700s they called them muckrakers. Today they call them journalists. IGN versus Rotten Tomatoes. Here we what go. A powerhouse. Four powerhouses. Two websites, man. Here today. And you've got rotten I just love how people slip on IGN because oh they just cover video games. It's like man, they've been reviewing they movies for far. fucking over a decade, guys. Of course they did. <laughs> well, in the semifinals, and they came back. They had a really great battle. Bill Gray is the top unicorn. Almost got oh. themselves to a title shot. They just missed. Oh yeah, top, top ten. Flick, Woo, they yeah. Nice but they did body what the flick though. That was a rough IGN. first match for them. Well, Jim and Eric, they come out. They're, they're so like the conquering heroes. Yo, that's a great shirt though. They so shout out to Eric. At they knocked him out in the second round, and they just everyone. They pretty much said, "No, it was a KO." Here we it was a fucking KO. Hung him by the flagpole. They gave him a swirl. So the early in the career, they already got a knockout. They That's nuts. Did. And they were so impressive. I can now pronounce Jim's last name. It is Vaveda. There you As go. Vaveda. How can you not pronounce that correctly? The yeah, first. Well, Yo, come on, man. You know it's Vegeta. You didn't get it right last time. You know what? I also like about IGN is the fact coming for you. Smack, and we know Rotten Tomatoes likes to put on a show, so. Here we go. Yo, Ace gets yeah, that one. <laughs> their ass, your ass, his ass, my ass. <laughs> Everyone's ass, Jim. Well, the tomatoes in black are back. Uh oh. And uh, you know we're problem solvers, and our problem is. IG. Yo, Brian Ward's yeah, poster IG, for this yeah. match was off the charts. Yo, Brian Ward, what you be killing it, son? We're gonna solve them. It's until amazing. They ain't able to be solved no more. I think we proved ourselves last time. Anyone yeah. who had any doubts about us saw what we did to Nerdist. Rotten Tomatoes is just going to be the next in a long line of teams. Granted, Nerdist was a pretty easy team head. to knock out, man. And Mark Ellis? Uh, they, they, they were just overwhelmed with the question. <laughs> I can get your name right. Why can't you get mine? Hey, tell him. Tell him. Babada. Babada. 
like Darth Vader. Oh, you have to beat his ass like Vegeta, bro. We're in violation of some uh, Arcalian treaties, and we are ready to have something happen that they will not forget. Oh, oh they're the men in black? Oh, my God. I think that they won't remember. I'm dense. <laughs> I think you just neuralized. You brought the neuralizer? Oh man. So we're gonna do it. Go make some. I uh, think that uh, you know we'd love to take him out early. Uh, yeah. You no, make just, some just, sauce. Just to not prolong the agony. You know why make it harder on them, harder on us? You know we like them, but we're just gonna end it merciful. You know that's what I say. It's just a quick mercy. I work with. Eric, Eric, Eric you don't have to step it up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know their secrets. I know where. I know where we can hit them where it hurts. Uh, I gotta find a transparent gif of the movie trivia <laughs> showdown uh, logo. Actually, I think I may have found one on the on the Facebook page. Tomatoes. I got the old one. one. On the Running screen. Over. Is here. Are coming through. All I can say is, Rock Tomatoes, you are going to get messed up, and uh -oh. I guarantee it's going to be certified fresh. You know, we've been awfully close to. You gonna stomp on them? And uh, right now, they stand in our way. Uh oh. High fives for everybody, yeah, man. I, you know, oh, and that's back, where. But, that's when the unicorn you know, horn I, fell. No oh no. Here. So, um, you know, when you're looking under our boot heels, I'm uh, sorry. Yep. They're so so modest. <laughs> <laughs> they are ready to go. They are ready to move up the ranks. The question is, damn, I missed double toasted already, man. They talk some magnificent shit. And team God Indian damn. Here is the tail of the tape. What are their strengths, Christian? People were strengths, amazed with them out the gate. Here. They're both, they're both really they will return. I know Oscar they will. Films, dramas, comic book movies, talking smack, dressing up. There's a lot of I mean, dressing up, man. Paper, I expect them to have similar. at least a four the star entrance. Is, who's gonna come IGN, hopefully you got something something good for us, man. I think are gonna be something to be hold a spectacle to witness for all time is your golden throat ready oh yeah i'm ready my set them pipes loose too. bro ladies and gentlemen it's time for the movie trivia showdown <laughs> let's get it introducing first i don't know how many times i say that <laughs> when i watch these out the run back oh yeah this music though just come out, just pose it. <laughs> Your hands up. We're here, baby. I don't know what the fuck I would do coming out. Besides, probably trip and bust my ass. Looking like fucking uh, Chris Farley. This is it with yo McWeedy style. Just go right to the chairs. No time to waste. It's like, don't let the beat ride. Fuck it. <laughs> yo, God damn. Yo, they came out to do business. At least wait till your names are announced. Uh oh. Neuralizer, baby. Nope. My face. My eyes. I've I forgotten the matchup. <laughs> you lit this up, man. How about you neuralize your opponents, bro? White from memory. Alright, here we go. A team match. Three Christian rounds. was trying to run it back. IGN. Mark, what is round number one like? What are the rules? IGN and Rotten Ooh. Tomatoes. The field is going to hear eight questions from eight different movie Ooh. categories. As soon as you there we go. Should be fucking with this during the goddamn recording. Answer on the whiteboard. When we ask you to reveal your answer, please verbalize it as you show your answer to our lovely cameras here. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty. Let's see if we can get a straight a eight, man. No stealing in round one. See, in yeah, teams, I wonder how it works. Do both opponents need to get... Do both team members need to get three times throughout eight the questions to for a total? The question. I'm no sorry, uh, let me say that. Do, do both team also, members need to get every question to be eligible for the bonus question? Way, you want to challenge it? Or can. does we only one team member have to get um, all eight questions and then that one individual is eligible for the bonus question? Oh, shit. The Muppets confirmed? Yes. Is Team IGN ready? We were born ready. Oh, shit. Let's smow down, y'all. <laughs> Yo, Ken. The question comes from the world of animated movies. These are drawn. What? Game are of they? Thrones star voices the dragon trapper Eric, who sells captured dragons to Drago in How to Train Your Dragon 2. Oh, no. A small part of me wanted it to be an alternative movie. Oh, fuck. Dolph Lundgren was in 
Oh, no, 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 no. I know this. I know this. Um, Dragon Trapper, Eret. Oh, fuck, I don't know. I almost wrote Peter Dinklage and then I remembered... Kid Harrington. That's yeah, that's Boy, right. Yeah. He ended up teaming up uh, with him. Nikolai Coster Waldo. Nah, nah. I, knew that name, I put Sean Bean, but the guy in the movie didn't die, so... Uh, <laughs> Someone Not did. Sophie Turner. Not so... <laughs> oh, man. Only that is Jim. Correct. Only Jim gets that one right, so wrong. Only Matt Ashley gets that. Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Matt Ashley, yeah. Only good, Matt good. Ashley gets what that right. Nice Jim. pull. One Shout out to Matt, bro. Matt uh, gets the point there. Oh, we got no one. No Booker T. Uh, what meal matchup, was offered uh, to the passengers speculation. the airplane that made everyone sick? What oh, wow. Did what they eat? Did you emphasize airplane because there's an exclamation point in the title? Yes. Was it pudding? Oh, I've been reading. Airplane! My daughter has been teaching me how to read. Did she got you hooked on phonics? <laughs> Fish? Correct for one point. Oh, right. wow. It's been Fish. so long Correct. since I've seen right. that movie. Fish. Correct. Fish shit. I'm sorry. With an exclamation point. Fish. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there we go. Three, two, and the crowd Well played. Well played. All right. Here with me. A piece of that cow. Your next category is drama. <laughs> wow. <laughs> exactly. Tilapia is a garbage fish. Continue. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Stream all of a they put tilapia on blast? Does Jake Gyllenhaal Sometimes people all can, all they can afford is that, bro. Dodge Challenger. Oh, that was, uh, it was no, fucking, I um, I Nightcrawler. Damn, it takes so long to answer well, the questions. I'd, I'd, I'd uh, miss half these great. questions just uh, during two, the first round writing them down. One. Great. Nightcrawler? Yeah. That is correct. You're absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah. Eric. No confidence. Nightcrawler. Correct, yes, Matt. indeed. Nightcrawler. Correct, Good shit. Jim. Nightcrawler. There you go. Good stuff. Keeping right. it, keeping so it heated. Keeping four. it heated. Going I don't want this to be a blowout, man. Number four here. Category of horror slash thriller. Mary Elizabeth Winstead plays Arctic oh, man, the thing. paleontologist Kate Lloyd in what 2011 thriller? It was The Thing, man. Come on, man. I like that. It's The Thing prequel. You do. You're but a big it was fan also called The Thing, so. Right. It's in the eyes. Yeah. It's, it's a reboot. Right. No, it's a fucking like prequel. It. <laughs> Five, I mean, my eyes are a disappointing one at dead. Three, two, one. How, how, how did you think they think they're going to outdo fucking John the Carpenter? Thing. The yep. correct answer. Uh, Matt Ashley. The thing. Correct. Yo, actually, he's on the his thing. game. And Gray. Gray, you got this? Lane on ice. No. Oh, All right, so <laughs> no. High game here well, now. I had, six, it had to happen. To <laughs> I would pay for a ticket to that. Your next category is Woo. the world of action adventure movies. And your question is thus. In 2008's Wanted, what MCU star oh, wow. plays Barry, Chris, Wesley's friend Chris Pratt, time, man. has a side relationship with Wesley's girlfriend? Fucking Chris a Pratt, dude. Question, it's a it movie. really is, right? It is, more fun it is clutch as fuck. For. A lot like you really movie. had to I see Wanted to get this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's Chris Pratt, man. He hits him in the face with a keyboard, man. That shit is priceless. Down, please, and now, now, Pratt gets hit in the face with the keyboard. Chris Pratt. Correct yeah. for one nice. point, Eric. By I by mean, Professor X, man. Chris Pratt. Correct. Gray. Oh, I just put McAvoy. Oh, Correct. well, McAvoy was Glad the one who hit him in the face with it. Ha, which I oh, thinking, man. Oh, tie game still. Seven, this shit. Seven. Well, see, this is what I told you. It is a tie game. I here. told you it'd be a good one. One of the rare moments when Chris Pratt plays a dick in a movie. Next category. Don't make me neuralize everybody over there. You fuck with the wrong Mexican. We already got neuralized. We forgot how this game works. We don't want that comedy bit coming back. Category of family films. Mm. Tim Curry, I've heard of him, plays the devious Cardinal Richelieu. Hopefully said that right. In oh. what 1993 Disney film? Tim Cardinal. Curry plays the devious Cardinal Richelieu. In what 1993? Disney Is it animated? I, I can't remember if the, the topic was animated, Tim but uh, if it's Cardinal, I don't remember. Um, national treasure. He is amazing in everything. Right. I don't remember. Uh, Four. Count, Three, not Count of Monte Cristo, the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame Jim. coming out in 93. Three Musketeers. Correct. Oh, Correct. shit. Good one. Just Adventures of Baron Munchausen, shout out. Mm. Incorrect. <laughs> it's a fun movie, Just but no. Just take the Muppets and put them up at Treasure Island. Oh, oh come yeah. on, Eric, man, you dropping balls. Three Musketeers. Yo, look at the heavyweights of the Jim team sitting right next to each other, uh, man. And we now have... We now know who the killers are. Oh, excuse me, two questions. We, but we always Crazy knew. We always knew. Your next category is in the world of fantasy sci-fi. Maybe overestimated Eric. <laughs> in the movie Looper, who plays Sarah? Oh, the woman who lives fuck. on the farm with her son, where young Joe... Takes oh, it's um. Not a band named Young Joe. Oh my God, her Emily Emily Blunt. It's Emily Blunt. I heard you. You want a band named Young Joe? I want a band named Luke. I don't want the band. I just think it sounds like a young hipster band. Five, four. <laughs> it's Emily Blunt, if I recall correctly. Little Joe, Fat Joe, one. Fat Joe. Down, oh shit. Gray. 
Now you're talking. Is that Emily Blunt? That is yes. correct. Marry me. Marry, marry, marry Drake, right. please. I said it sounds Diane Laney. Oh, incorrect. Oh. <laughs> well, they're now behind the point. I said Emily smokes a blunt. That is correct. <laughs> Jim, Emily Blunt. Correct. God damn. All yo. right, so there you go. Fellas. Gooper way more than I did. Oh, 10 9, and our final question. In Eric, man, come on, man. Is in the category of new releases. Texas Midland Banks are being told oh, by what? in what? Oh my god, yo, hella high water. I fucking love this movie, man. That is a fucking <laughs> classic. That's a good answer. It's funny. I liked it. I reward humor. I reward personality. I think that was very nice to see. Five, four. Hella high water. If you haven't seen that movie, please. One, go to your way to watch it. It's so good. Texas Banks. Incorrect. <laughs> Matt. Matt. Hell or high water world. Correct. <laughs> what, was, what did you say it was? Hell, Hell or, or high water. All right. Sorry. He's making funny. Yeah, he's not the only funny guy in the group. <laughs> Yo, he's trying. How much of you when we play, Jim? But shout out to the Agity, man. Hell or high water. Correct. Oh, Greg. Good, good shit. Hell or high water. Wow, Greg gets See it. All right, Damn, Greg yo, gets yo, it. yo okay, Drake, so man. Great. Great came now. to play Watch today, the man. I see. IGN, man, you might be two. fucking Eight falling out Eric, of this one, man. Damn. My speculations are shit. Will he get a question involving his shirt? Trash. Right, because Matt Atchity got all eight right. He's oh! Okay. No, he's not. He's okay. He will get a bonus question. All right, cool. So it does work right on the individual individual basis. Correct. Mark, I was wondering if, uh, right. if this would ever come up. Cannot confirm with Greg. Oh, what the fuck? What? What's, what's 1986 glasses? movie begins with the narrated line, I was 12 going on 13 the first time I saw a dead human being. Oh. Oh, that was, um... That stand by me. Would stand by me. Be stand by me. For Thank one you. more point. More point. Damn, boy, they're killing it, man. Yo, actually, dude. MVP of the game so far. Still perfect. That actually is perfect right now. God crushing. Damn, okay, here we go. Now we get into round number two. Mark, how does round get two? Get that man work. a solo round joint. Each team is going to have six <laughs> questions from one of the categories on the wheel that you will spin. If you don't like the category you spin at first, you are awarded a mulligan. You may spin again. Whatever it lands on, you must keep that category. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check the multiple choice, at which point the value of the question... Ellis, I'm never sure of the answer, bro. One point, you <laughs> are allowed to confer with your teammates for the duration of round two. However, there is stealing involved. There's no penalty for missing a question. All right, Rotten Tomatoes, you guys are in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? Ladies' choice. First. first. All right, give it a Always go spin, first, Gray. man. All right. There we go. Always. Gray was you, four you, you get your pick of the litter when it comes to categories. Yes. There we go. You don't want your opponent to get the category you're strong at first. Being gracious is overrated in this game. Like Never be. Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Look out, 80s. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. I would pass. skip that. I, although I think Agony would be go. would be good at it, but it's too random. I'm screaming at Rotten Tomatoes. It's too random, dude. <laughs> That is the middle of the road category. I would not take again. it. Yeah, please. We're spinning again. Spinning again. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Gray, you got this. You got this. We like, we like consistency what here you, at Rotten what Tomatoes. Mixed bag. Right. Spin that wheel. Wait, hold on. Atchity, uh, our Sick fearless about? leader, is saying what? that he right. he's got, giving I'm me. Gonna need an answer in five. What? Four. We have a pizza on the way. Three. <laughs> Two. Then we're spinning again. All right, All right here we go. There's the spin. <laughs> Was it a good choice? <laughs> Watch it land on Mixed Bag again. Did it work for the Mixed Bag they had? And now they're going to try to spin away from okay. it. Tell you, man. Re reverse spin it. Christian, they could have got Mixed Bag again. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh! 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 It feels like getting a whammy and press your luck, man. Son of a bitch! Are they gonna go to mix bag because they have no idea what the win the strengths and weaknesses are? You're gonna put them right in the briar patch. You need to give a movie release dates if it's on the board. Biopics. Biopics. That's actually not a bad category to get. Biopics. All right, I'll go. Even. Biopics. You will have six questions. Ooh, here we go. Biopics. All right, Rotten Tomatoes. Here we go. In the 2011 biopic Moneyball. Which American League Central team did the Oakland A's play in their attempt to win 20 consecutive games? Oh, fuck. Um, was it the Boston Red Sox? Uh, we'd like multiple choice. Please. Yeah, that's All a right, smart move. A, the Detroit Tigers. B, the Cleveland Indians. That's the White C, Sox. The Chicago White Sox. I think it's the White Sox. It was a faded thing because I think that was the team that Brad Pitt used to work for or... Had worked for 
That's incorrect. Oh, yeah. fuck. And Eric? Uh, we're going to go with the Royals. Well, that's correct. They, for need, one they point. need to steal. Oh, so. Good shit. Well one done. Well done. Well done. Question. Yeah, all right. Damn, I thought it was the Sox. Okay, question one of two, the Rock Socks. Tomatoes. Who played the role of Altea Flint in The People versus Larry Flint? Wasn't that on? Um, Courtney Love. Love, correct yeah. For two points. Yes. Tomatoes, I stand by you, Courtney. <laughs> Alpha was the dog. <laughs> right. Good question. Well, who played the <laughs> Sparky. <laughs> Liam Neeson played this Irish patriot in oh, Jordan's Rob Roy? film. I think it's Rob Roy. Rob Roy, my favorite drink. Incorrect. Oh! Michael Collins. Correct. Oh, get the fuck out. Damn, Rob Roy is Scottish. Yeah, I ain't shit on that one. All right, question four. Oh, I feel you, Drake. I feel you. Della B. Robinson in Ray. Oh, it was, um... Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm going to lose my black card on this. Oh, I've seen Ray like three times. It was, um... Okay, we need multiple choices. Yeah, I know I want to see the names. A, Viola Davis. B, Carrie Washington. C, Regina King. D, Taraj B. I want to say it's... Uh, I want to say it's... Uh, that is B. C. Carrie Washington. That is correct for one point. Oh, yeah, point. fuck, B, fuck me. Still God damn. Fight. Two questions left here, guys. Who plays Frida Kahlo's husband, Diego Rivera, in the movie Frida? Uh, also played Dr. Octopus. That would be Alfred Molina. And that's correct. Oh, two man. Points. Look, my man is on point. Right, Look at so this guy. Now they're playing pretty good here. In IGN Illinois could fucking when take the lead if they spin the right category. Stuck on them. Not bad so far. Yeah, they're, they're, fending, the they're fighting question. their way through. Okay. Which outlet... Of print media, did Steven Oh, they should probably know this. In the 2003 Chicago Tribune? Drama I'm just Shattered guessing. Lives. I don't know. I've only seen the movie once. We'll take multiple choice, please. A. Time Magazine. B. The New York Daily News. C. Oh. The New Republic. D. Washington, Washington Post. Post. I think it's the Post. This is educated guess. Uh, Time Magazine. A. Incorrect. <sighs> It's the post. New Republic. Correct for one point. Wow. IGN. Right. I'm dead ass wrong today. If I got Bob Bix today, I'd be dead. <laughs> only four points down as you get into your spin. Go ahead and spin, Jim. Woo, yo, Anakin. There's your first spin. Here I want the trip to Alcapoco. How you spin a wheel. I want the trip to Alcapoco. Oh, fuck that category for real. Spin again. Yeah, let's, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep We're going to keep it. it. Right, I'm right, guessing we'll Eric's probably strong in that. Movies. All right, Mark, go ahead. All Six right. questions here in the world of coming of age. Coming of age. Can IGN, who currently has a 1-0 record, come of age in this game? We're about no. to find out. I guess it's better than landing on a opponent's shores. And that was terrible, Ellis. <laughs> Damn. I mean, Ellis, you, you've you done better. <laughs> I, I can fix this. I can fix that joke. <laughs> oh, let's reset. Scrub that from the mind. Coming of age movies. <laughs> What word of advice is whispered to Dustin oh! in 1967's The Graduate? I know this. Oh, man. I need uh, multiple can we choice. Get multiple though. choice. Yeah, Certainly amen. Not. Is it A, plastics, B, sugar free, C, computers, or D, exercise? A, plastics. For one, one point. point for wow. IGN. Right, I thought it was, it was something else. There. Fuck me. So, one point. All okay. right. All right. Crowd, not yeah. enthused. No. Your next question. <laughs> Who plays teenage Rolling Stone reporter William Miller in Almost Famous? Mm. Patrick Fugit. Two points. Man, I would not know that. Again, starting to fight back here. Uh, again, I've only seen that movie once, up. and it was after it hit <laughs> home video. Next query: Jeff Daniels and Laura Linney play a couple separating in what 2005 dramedy? Wow, I'm striking out, man. Fuck. It's a squid in the well. It certainly is. God damn! Take the lead now. It really looked that opponent's choice. Wow. Yeah, yeah man. They're, they're, right. they're making that, that, that coming to Asian movies Three category is paying off. Next one is paying dividends. James Ponsel directed Miles Teller in, in which, which film? film? That is uh oh. Uh, can we get? Uh, we think we know the answer, but we'll take multiple, multiple choice. choice. I, yeah. I don't need to know the inner workings of your mind, Jim. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> Is it A, 21 and over, uh, B, Project X, C, the spectacular, spectacular now, or D, that awkward moment? C. Spectacular now. One point One. for IGN. IGN having a great round right now. It is 20 to 18. Have a chance to go four points over if they can get these next two. Who plays Damn, it's a huge lead if they do. Chris Chambers in the film. Oh, Stand wow. River Phoenix. I want to say it's River Phoenix. You want to say it? River Phoenix. Two more points Two more for points. IGN. Right. 
Damn, I, that, I barely remember that. Come on, Chris! <laughs> what is Ferris Bueller's key to faking out parents? Oh, wow, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know how to phrase it without seeing it. Sweaty palms. Take that. Yeah. I think we should. I think we should have a judge confer. The judge. Yeah. I think we should have a judge confirm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Under review. I love it when this happens, man. They take the time, and watch him, watch him say, "Fuck them." That, that is it. That is incorrect. Uh, bend over, moan, and lick your palms, and then come up. For clammy licking, hands. Clammy, oh. licking palms, clammy hands. That's your final answer? That's my final answer. That is correct. Clammy hands for two points. Took a while to get oh. there, but we got, we got there. <laughs> Clammy hands. Clammy hands is correct. And that so. ended a much closer game going yeah, into round three. Just Man. Just there. Sweaty palms. Not the same as clammy hands, apparently, to Mark Riley, who knows well. All right, so let's now get to round number <laughs> Mark Riley. three. What a match as we predict. It's Mark's Mark fault. 22, 20. I can in the lead. How does round three work? In round three, Yo, the, the champ. team is going to pick three numbers to raise from he one said, to fuck 25. Him. Those numbers correspond to a movie. Hey, but IGN is, is in the lead, man. Here at the desk. The questions they fought their way back up. From two to three to five. Now, this is what my advice is for this Once actual round the at the end of this episode. Question, I'll get into it, but... There's Which a slight change I could make answer. that I think would no add a little bit more transparency to the categories that are selected. However, and um, if they do this, it actually is a bit of a run back to um, the, up the earlier seasons of the Schmodown, the first two. And you'll see what I mean if you watch those episodes, the ones that were on the Schmozo movie show. But what the fuck do I know? 7, 17, and 25 Rotten Tomatoes. 36, 24, 36. Oh, wait. Ah. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can't use. play there. Uh, uh, lucky 13, mm -hmm. uh, 7, and yo, 11. 7 has been chosen already. Oh. So, well, so forget thir that. Then. 13. 13, 11, and 4. 4. 13, Just a, 11. Yeah, let Greg get a pick. Tomatoes. Come on. I will ask the question here to Rotten Tomatoes as we are now the. And they mixed it up, which 13. is good. 13. 13 is their first choice. And they get this all tied up. Scores and soundtracks. Oh. Two pointer. Who would like to take the two pointer from the two of you guys? Matt actually taking the two pointer. All right. Matt, two pointer. You cannot confer with your teammate here. Which movie soundtrack features a tune by its own fictional band, the Soggy Pop oh. Boys? Oh, fucking. Uh, that would be the oh, Brother Where Art Thou. That would be yeah. two points tying the game here. Tying the game. All right, now we go. I wouldn't have got IGN that in the clutch. Mark, I'd, I'd, I'd have probably thought about it way too long. IGN, you chose number seven for your two pointer. That category is classics. Who would like? <laughs> I'll go. Jim Vavida. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Because, duh, classics. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? This. For two points, I was just who mocking him. Swashbuckler Captain Blood in the 1935 oh. film Captain Blood. Errol Flynn. Yeah. Two points. Whoa. All right, two Impressive. points. Impressive. IGN yes. takes the lead them. back, Very and nice. now Captain we go Blood. To Rotten Tomatoes, who chose number 11 for their three pointer. And Rotten Tomatoes and goes down. They'll go down fighting Drake at least. In the category of action and won't be TKO at this point. Action adventure, Chris. Who plays Dalton's trusted ally, Wade Garrett, in the classic Roadhouse? Wow. Roadhouse? Oh, uh, he knows. That would be Sam Elliott? That is correct. Yes! There you go. Three points. That's what's happening? I love you, Sam! So now we go back <laughs> Good to shit. IGN. Way to go, Drake. Way to go, Drake. I see you, Greg. Which is category 17. Your number 17 category is Pixar. All right. Your question for three points in Toy Story 3. What is the name of the child that Andy it's a girl. gives his toys to? It's a girl, man. They're gonna miss this one. They're gonna miss this one. Holy shit. I don't remember the girl's name, but I know it's a girl. Four, that that three, does me no good. Three, two, Yo, Jim. Just still win. I'm gonna say Rosie, even though I know that's not quite mm, right. Looking for Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah. Bonnie. Oh, All right, so. Uh, <laughs> All right, so now we are Ooh, down to tables the have five turned. pointer here. IGN needs to hit this five pointer, or Rotten Tomatoes will win the game. Wow. Five pointer mark. They chose category How far number we've 25. Come. Angelina Jolie is back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. God bless her. Angelina Jolie is your category. I can get you some of these questions, but not all. Here. Yes. Your All five right. point question is Who played Dade Murphy, aka Crash oh. Override, 
alongside Andrew oh, Lina Jonathan... in the 1995 film. Oh, fuck. Johnny, uh, Johnny, uh, jo Johnny Miller? Johnny Lee Miller? Here we go. Johnny Lee Miller. I'm in the mainframe, Christian. I'm that almost there. Correct. Correct for five I'm in. Look at this. I'm in. <laughs> Shout out to the snap. I'm in. <laughs> I love that shit. Anytime he does it on movie talk. Number four, and that would be Snap's cartoon hacker. <laughs> category number four, which would be family films. Woo! Family this is a toughie, y'all. Sometimes it can't be. Sometimes the, the answer is Benji. And beat IGN. <laughs> your five pointer. Who played Professor Brody, who was conducting research oh. to cure dog allergies in cats and dogs? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, Gray might know this. <laughs> I, think it might, I think it might be Jeff Goldblum. And your winner! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen! Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo, that was a snatch. Good shit. <laughs> Gray with the win. Let me fix my face. Yo, look at these guys. Tell them to go fuck themselves, all right? Like Corey Coleman would. Do it. <laughs> well played. Oh, good shit. The fuck do I know, guys? The fuck do I know? Came down to that stinking Bonnie from Toy Story. All right, here we go. That stinking body. That's a toughie. Yo, Jen Sturger's back? What? Yo, where's Emma, though? Hello, Trivia Schmodown fans. I'm Jen Sturger, and I'm here with Matt and Gray. Oh, my God. She's been gone for ages. I haven't seen this 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 lady since, I think, the, uh... Was it the, um... This was truly a team effort. The free for all. Steven Spielberg. I think she was there in the behind the scenes. So, so good. I heard that cats and dogs. I was like, oh no, and great. You great? You guys, I literally just watched it on cable and was like, this I know. Is a stupid movie. Like, and right? Why is Jeff Goldblum in it? That's, well, that's how it works. You just watch the TV and the shit shows up and then it shows up in the showdown. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, great. So, you guys beat what the flick. That was an amazing Yo, IGN, I'm so sorry, but y'all fought hard. Next. 29 Heroes, points ain't no, like nothing to laugh at. Zeros. Oh. Oh, who's cocky oh. now? I've got, got my, my flip-off glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, them glasses. Is Jeff Goldblum around? I want to kiss him on the mouth. <laughs> Saved by Goldblum. I do too. I mean, look, like, Jeff Goldblum, he's a beautiful man. He's sexy he as hell. Uh, I would rent an apartment with him. I can't now wait for Thor, Thor Ragnarok, man. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we know that there's a championship match coming up, and we... Are going to take on the winner, and we will be the what? champions. Uh, what about a Jeff Goldblum category? I oh. dare anybody to go up against me. <laughs> so, Matt. Yo, way to go. Yo, she's killing it right now. Match soon. Oh, Wait, I forgot to rate their entrances. A um, uh, a tease. Their entrance was a 4.5. That, that could be the case. Especially with the neuralizer uh, that I fucking am, set things right. You know, I'm, IGN, I'm ready. Ready. it's a, it's oh, a, it's a three. So it's a three. They came out with Gusto, oh, but that's anyway, about, that's about all. But they played well. Uh, I want to take on Riley. Look, like, I, you know, I'm going to oh. go through a few people. Oh. I want to take on Riley. You're going to have to go through a lot of people, bro. I'm sweating too. Come on, Hatchety. Come on, bro. I need to see well, you in singles, congratulations, man. Congratulations, guys. Phenomenal go. match today. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Quick shout, though, to IGN, a.k.a. I Go Nowhere. They, oh, they went straight into I our hearts. I Go though. Nowhere. <laughs> Those guys are some serious competitors. They know their stuff. That was an amazing uh, match. They, they, they yeah, fucking, they fucking gave them. Jeff Goldman! <laughs> Goldman, David, we love you guys, but suck it. <laughs> Yo, they murdered I'm it. I'm done here. <laughs> IGN. That was a Damn, fellas. Match. You know what, though? What was going through your head? You gotta lose round. one to fucking find your footing, man. Who the hell was the kid in Toy Story <laughs> 3 was the first one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was brutal. Was great match. Mad respect Yo, they'd be killing guys. him with the Pixar uh, questions. You know, to, Yo, they almost got Martin. <laughs> uh, so uh, Martin snatched that shit up. It's like, Radiator Springs? Yo, son. I will say... <laughs> I thought we had him right at the end. God damn you, Jeff Goldblum. I know. God I damn you, Pixar. Yet again. Came back yeah. and with the steals, it was amazing. Yeah, thanks These for Pixar landmines just be waiting for him in the like, final okay, round. We, we kind of found because I, I know he, I was the weak link in this one. He was holding us up. In the second oh. round, I'm like, okay, no, things are going better. We're, you know, yeah, Eric, man, if you'd have just done your job. And I thought even in the third round, I'm like, oh, there's some back and forth here. I think that we're gonna do okay. But then, oh man. Yeah, the, the 
Toy Story 3, Cats and Dogs 1 2 Punch. I know, right? That, that shit was yeah, fucking. It was those cartoons that stole you at the end. So, great well, Cats and Dogs is not a cartoon, though. What's next for you guys? Maybe you would think it would be, but it's not. Matches, want to compete some more as a team? I wouldn't mind going to the singles matches at this point. I feel yeah, like, Jim? Uh, oh, oh, Jim wants a break yeah, from well, Eric. I love that and I were just <laughs> yeah, I want to see the run back. That should be their, um, if they both go singles, I want to see that run back between the two of them. That should be their, the first matchup between those two. Christian, get it popping. Yeah, one point, man. That's, that's the toughest loss. We could totally still kick ass. Yeah, but between your impressive debut and that match, I think you yeah, guys have more than enough proved yourselves here. As someone who loves good drama, I, even I have to appreciate losing by one point, you know? Because <laughs> it was, yeah, I thought I <laughs> hey, that close. You make a good point, yeah, bro. I, I would love to both come back uh, as a team again. I think we've had a great time and a singles. This guy, though, I think is like the unbeatable one when it comes to biopics and classic movies. Yeah, no one saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah no, it's like, uh, well, I've worked with him long enough to know that <laughs> he, he could do it. So uh, I think he could just kick some ass on that. Level. But for cool. sure, you guys put on a hell of a match, and you know today will go down as the curse of Jeff Goldblum. So, <laughs> body by Goldblum, man. I love him that little bit less now. Ah. <laughs> you got a hate on for Jeff? You see Damn. A Rotten Tomatoes, who goes up four and two. They're calling for the Patriots. They're calling for us. They're calling for everybody. They want those title shots. Who's who knows what's going to happen? for your mama. Everybody upset because how do you how do you get on the stage? <laughs> and, and such zaniness occurring during all three rounds of this match. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. A great man once said, and I couldn't have asked for a more entertaining match right. than what we got from these four journals. It was tight, man. Drake didn't even uh, didn't even listen to whether or not she was right or not. She just, she knew it so well. She just started hugging Matt right away. Oh she yeah. So cocky. Her hair is pinkish red, I believe. I thought for a second uh, they. What a match. I thought oh, for a second. God, they um they got it wrong guys. but sure you like not, not at all comment that helps us get more matches like this they were celebrating a little too like early IGN man what are you standing up for what are you standing up for i'll tell you right now uh, i'll tell you oh why because awesome they fucking match. took it i can't believe it make sure you go to the movie trivia schmodown facebook oh yeah man join over there join the i'm already there bro at reddit and make sure you check out the schmodown rundown every saturday brand new episode oh yeah man they've been killing it on that show man that is the commission christian george harloff i am merely mark and now we toss it to the wild man Josh McCuga oh, for yo. your fantasy update. And don't forget Cody, man. His the Robin to his Batman. Up, movie trivia, oh fans. no, Cody. Josh McCuga here with your oh shit, there he is. It was like a little Mac, fight, bro. Heavyweight fight. Yo, someone he just IGN hit the he just did the star punch, man. Points scored everywhere. Train harder. Train harder. <laughs> Okay. Get the chick, yo, give him a pink, a pink windbreaker, man. Come on. Yo, Cody, tighten up that form. Cody's cooking, boy. He's cooking. Yo, weave, son. Watch him hit Jeff. Watch him hit Josh accidentally in the back. I said keep training. God damn it, hit it. Oh, you go do some road work, bro. Yo, punch the camera like Jeremy Johns, man. Do it. Hey guys, if you like this and video, Ashley takes us out. Up That's what's up. Also, make sure you subscribe to our Good YouTube stuff. Another solid episode of the Schmodown. Thanks to all that were involved. Man, good, good shit, good shit. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. I, again, I was dead ass wrong. <laughs> dead ass wrong again. Ah. Oh. Oh man, you, you might as well just, when you start watching, might as well just go with the opposite of my picks because that's what's how it's going to play out. That's exactly how it's going to fucking play out. But it was a tight match, man. It was anyone's game towards the end, man. It was uh, some tough questions that IGN got that um, that set them down a, a, a rough path, man. They were leading going in, man. I don't know whether it was the decision that was made, uh, not wanting to go with sweaty hands versus clammy hands. But uh, yeah, it was uh, a, little, a, little, a, little, a little rough for these guys. A little rough. But uh, at the end, man, uh, it was an it was an engaging match. Uh, props to Rotten Tomatoes, man. I was sorry to doubt you. I, I'm, I'm sorry to have doubted you. Uh, you've been one of my favorite teams I've seen in the league since it started. So uh, thank you for uh, coming out to play, man. And I'm excited to see where you guys are going to go next. I'm excited to see where IGN is going to go next. And with Jim saying that he's going to want to get try his hand at... Um, at individual matches um if they do get that run back between him and actually it'll be very interesting to see how that plays out because they, they they're pretty evenly matched if you go off of what that first round was providing us um the intel that was providing us 
so yeah, man, a great a great episode uh, coming up. We're going to be doing uh, I'm going to be doing a commentary next on the uh, the what was it um, the special match singles match versus uh, Jonathan Rice uh, Davies uh, Jonathan Rice Myers um, versus uh, the director of the movie that he's in. His last name is Goodman. I have to look up the match, but uh, oh, here it is: Jonathan Reese Myers versus Brian Goodman. Uh, that'll be the next commentary I do. It should be also out today as well. So, I'm recording that in a few minutes. But uh, I did promise to uh, talk about my idea for how they can improve the third round. Again, this is just my opinion. Uh, they may have already considered this, and if so, nothing I can do. Um, but I have uh, an idea, and what it is is basically uh, in the third round, instead of having the players choose their categories. Uh, they'll still get to choose their categories, but in a blind pick situation. What they used to do on the Schmodown back in the older days uh, is they would have a bag full of topics, uh, and they would reach into that bag and pull out the topics. Um, they'd be folded up in pieces of paper. Now, that's that's a little rough around the edges, but I respected the fact that it was nice and random, and it was also transparent. What a lot of people complained about during the match with uh, Christian versus William Viviani is that a lot of people were saying, oh, they already pre-decided the uh, categories for Christian. Those are some clutch-ass picks that Christian made. And I still believe, honestly, that they were legitimately randomly chosen uh, or randomly selected by Christian. Because he had the second choice in the matter. But people, you know, have been putting up conspiracy theories. And just to squash all that shit, here's a, a great way to do it. You have monitors in the background. Those monitors can actually show all the categories coming up for the final round with numbers attached to each one. You bring out a bag, you have someone come out, you know, used to be that, uh, used to be that you used to have someone bring out the wheel, but it's a little bit more cumbersome now, so to bring out the wheel, they can't really parade it out like they used to. They have to bring it out and probably edit the show, so that way, when they bring the wheel out, it's just already there. But, um, in this case, you have, you know, Makuga come out with a bag, you know, nice felt crown royal bag full of ping pong balls. And those ping pong balls all have numbers on them. Uh, whatever numbers of the categories they have it could be one through 23 one through 30 whatever we call it the uh the schmodown ball bag in honor of the ball bags that get banned <laughs> <laughs> it's the only good ball bag in schmoville guys the only good one um we bring it out uh the players in the league get to pick three balls out of the bag they show each ball to the camera with the number on it and that's their categories and the categories are already on the background or on the uh, the screen in the background, so there's no arguing there. They can flash the categories on the screen at first, but you also see it on the camera in the background too. And then um, they'll cut to the players as they pull out three balls and they hold them up, and then that selects their categories for them. And they already know the categories going in. They can look at the board and see that. I don't see what harm that does. Uh, it just makes it a bit more transparent, so that people can't say, "Well, this guy picked all these categories and he knows best." That's like they rigged the game for him. No, not at this point. It's not even. That's not even a question anymore. Uh, now you can say that the questions are rigged, but at this point you're just looking for things to make fucking complaints about, and at that point you may want to look at yourself. But if they were to do that in that fashion, where they bring a ba bag out, uh, the winners, uh, the the leaders of the match get to pick three, then the opponents get to pick three of what's remaining. That would actually be um, a bit more transparent and would work a little bit better. It may take a little bit more time than people picking the numbers themselves, but it would take out the conspiracy factor at least in that process so i think that would be uh, a way to go i mean it is my suggestion maybe there's a better way um if you guys have any other suggestions put them down in the chat below in the um in the in the comments below i'd like to know what you guys think about how to make that third match a little bit more uh transparent so that way uh people can stop bitching and complaining about how uh, matches like that play out uh, honestly speaking I don't think Christian cheated not one fire fucking iota. He has way too much pride in his game in order to fucking sabotage it on some small-minded shit like that. Quite honestly, I think that's bullshit. And if you're watching the show, you're just looking to make trouble for the most part. But just to ease anybody's fucking, you know, suspicions and shit like that, if they try, you know, a little bit, a little adjustment to that, uh, I think that would actually work out pretty well for the show. Somebody I, I read on one of the boards said they should spin the wheel for the categories. Well, if you keep in mind, there's a lot more categories in the um, in the final round than there are on the wheel, and they're not going to put a bunch more categories on the wheel. That's a lot more production time. Fuck all that noise. Just, just, just bring out that bag, the 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 ceremonial ball bag. Bring it out. <laughs> 
<laughs> let people pick their uh, pick their choices. It doesn't have to be ping pong balls. They could be poker chips with numbers on them too. You know, just have them professionally made so that they look good. Like they they've been stepping up the production on the show and it's been looking better and better and better and better throughout the course of the run. So I mean, it it seems a little simple, but I think that would actually work out pretty well. Um, ultimately, when it comes to transparency on the showdown, um, you guys may have a better idea. They may try something new in the next season. I don't know, but I think that may work. Anyway, uh, as always, uh, thank you for watching the run back here for the showdown run back. Uh, my name is Sober Ryu. Always make sure to go to youtube.com slash collider videos and youtube.com slash schmoes know. Check out the Facebook group. Um, if you guys have never seen this Facebook group before, let me go ahead and uh, show you a little picture. Ooh, you guys saw it in the previous. Uh, in the video just a minute ago but here's a, a good look at it right there if you guys have uh never been there before make sure you go there and hit that uh hit that follow button or ask to hit the join button uh, they're pretty good about letting people join unless you're a troublemaker then you'll have to go fuck yourself but <laughs> head on over there man and uh make your make your voice and be known man check them out man also they recently uh, dropped a new show on Facebook. Um, it just started this week. I have yet to watch it, actually, because I was afraid that would actually spoil the outcome for this match. So I held off on that. But um, if you guys didn't know about it, the Pit Boss has got a new show over on uh, over on the Facebook group that happens on um, on Thursday. It's called Inside Schmodown with the Pit Boss. Yo, Ken Knapsack. I've been waiting for this guy. I've been waiting for this guy. Yo, why is the quality so bad? I need to fix that shit. Let's get it. Oh, it's on auto? That's, that's the problem. But uh, yeah, Ken's been, uh, I'm going to be watching this after I finish my commentaries. And um, I suggest you guys do the same, man. You want the inside dope? Talk to the man who knows all. Ken Napsock. Check him out, man. I'm about to myself. Anyway, that's it for me, man. I'm about to get a, I'm about to get going and get this next commentary popping. But uh, thanks again for watching the Schmodown Runback with your boy, Sober Ryu. And uh, thanks for following us over here on YouTube.com slash Shinjuku Station. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace.